Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Data Tech. Today we are going to talk about Apache Kafka. Let's start by understanding what Apache Kafka is and why it's so popular these days. If you look at the definition of Apache Kafka, Apache Kafka is an open source distributed streaming system designed for ingesting and processing streaming events in real time. Streaming events is data that continuously generated by various systems and they send this out at the same time. In simple words, we can think Kafka is a set of machines that's working together to handle and process real-time continuous data. Now, you might be wondering what, if, what we mean by event. So event is something which happens in your business. So for instance, let's say if we are an e-commerce business, whenever a customer add or remove an item from an online shopping cart, that's an event. Or when we make a payment, that's also an event. So Kafka capture all these events and it processed these uh, events in the real time. And events are uh, also like in Kafka interchangeably used with terms like message or records. But if we want to understand what is an event, in nutshell we can say it's just data with some extra details or in much simpler way like it's a data with metadata. Now let's understand why Kafka is so popular nowadays. So the first reason it's like the high throughput of Kafka. So Kafka is capable of handling like a high volume of data. So it can handle like millions of messages or millions of events per seconds. The second is like it's a scalability. Kafka is like a highly scalable. So we can add thousands of servers to it. And with those thousands of servers, it can handle or manage trillions of messages per day. And at the same time, like that's like petabytes of data. So it's it its elasticity gives it the uh, the power to expand and contract based on the uh, the requirements. So that's why like it's highly scalable. And the other factor is the low ten low latency. So it can delivers like high volumes of uh, events or messages or even records like with the latency as low as like two milliseconds. And it is highly available because like it's a distributed system. So it can span over uh, like data centers uh, in like various reasons, which make it like highly available and a fault tolerant at the same time. So with a risk of like not you losing any data. And if you think like wh uh, what is Kafka used for? Kafka is used to build like real time streaming data pipelines or applications like video games, or you can think it like it's used with like uh, in internet of things. So for example, like a thermostat in a house that can be used, like that can be used with Kafka to process its data and all those things. It can be used with the uh, real time data uh, of like stock. So it can give us the market changes information in real time. And it's also used uh, um, like in messaging apps that work instantly. For example, like WhatsApp or Discord and these kind of things. These are like few of the examples, but anything where you need like real time streaming data, Kafka is can be used. Now let's look how does actually Kafka works using a food delivery app. That could be something like Uber Eats in North America, or it could be a Swiggy or Zometo in India, Kareem's in uh, Dubai. It could be uh, like any food delivery app based on your location. As And uh, as we know, like food delivery apps uh, nowadays get like millions of records or millions of orders within like per minute kind of thing. So Kafka is like a, as well suited for these kind of applications. So as we know, like Kafka is a cluster which consists of one or more servers. So in Kafka, the server is basically known as broker. So as we can see in our, um, like in our diagram, like broker one and broker two is basically like a server one and server two in Apache Kafka cluster. Okay, and uh, we have two types of applications in Kafka, producers and consumers. So producers, which basically those client application that writes or we can say publish the data to the Kafka cluster and consumers are those uh, ap applications which read or subscribe uh, the data from the Kafka clusters or we can say the process the data from the Kafka clusters too. In Kafka, both producers and consumers are 
fully decoupled or we can say they are agnostic to each other so producers uh, never wait for any consumer to consume the data and in the same way consumer is not waiting for a producer to produce data if whatever is available in the uh, like in the Kafka cluster it can still subscribe to it and this kind of uh, this kind of like a design is like perfectly suit well for a micro services applications like in our case the food delivery app so here our producers we can have one or more producers but in our examples we are using only one producer that's our like food delivery app and for consumers we have two groups one is the consumer one group that's uh, in consumer one group we have user app basically the uh, the person who is ordering the food and in the consumer two we have uh, three application one is the analytical team which like consume the data from kafka and do some analytics on top of that it could be like a sales analytics or it could be like real-time dashboarding those kind of things and then we have like a, a microservices for the restaurant partner app basically like w with the food delivery whoever the restaurant partners like they are also reading events from the kafka cluster so for example uh yeah so for example like kafka might be producing like let's say orders like they are continuously getting orders so like they are pushing the order details here and the restaurants might be reading those order details from that and same thing goes for the delivery partners also like they are pushing the uh, they are publishing the uh, like the next order location or other information and the same thing is consumed by the delivery partners so basically what we mean here is like in microservices applications like a producer can produce things and it can be consumed by other microservices so when producers produce data that is stored in topics so here we can see we have two topics payments and locations and topic is nothing it's just a logical grouping of our data or we can think it topic is like similar to the folder in a file systems so for example whatever our food delivery app is producing that is stored in different topics and uh, like examples here is payments and location but it could be other things like it could be order it could be um, like um, like a feedback those kind of things like it it can be categorized according to that and these kafka topics are further divided into partitions and basically partition is the smallest storage unit that actually holds the records or the message so for example let's say uh, uh let's say like uh, when we ordered the food we, we made a payment okay so that payment goes into this payment topic and it gets stored here and th in this one so for example our order is let's say 125 so this event information and as you remember from our from the beginning of our uh, video where we said like event is something when uh, like when something happens in your business and payment is like one example when we order the food we do the payment and that's an event so the value of that order plus like some other uh, metadata for example like timestamp key and other things are stored in this partition and these partitions are basically uh, like uh, are, are written in a like append only fashion because in like if you think from real time like they like if we get a new payment that will be stored here if we get another payment that will be stored here and if we get another payment like it, partitioning like it could be stored here but it can't be like even if let's say we made an order we cancel our order in that case also it's going to be written in an append only mode so for example let's say we made an order of 125 dollar it get uh, written to let's say this uh, partition and like this offset of the partition but and we cancel it and we cancel then there will be another record for that 
it won't be like it will update that so there is no way we can update that it's only written in append only fashion and the offset if we talk about like it's basically an incremental number and it is immutable it start with zero whenever we enter a new record in partition that's uh, that's where like it number get increased and uh, like always whenever we writing a record it is appended to the end of the uh, like partition so when i say end of the partition so for example if we are writing something and it uh, it will add here not like it won't skip anything and add here it won't be like that it will uh, grow from uh, like a sequential offset mode and uh, like we can see here like we have multiple copies of these partitions but that is like a, and these like multiple copies of partitions on multiple brokers that's just to give us uh, the replica and if one broker fails so let's say if one broker fails we still have everything running and that's where this um, uh, like the fault tolerance and high availability factors come into the picture but let's try to understand like how uh, our picture so let's say as a user we order a food and after that we want to track our order and the app is continuously posting the location of our driver in the location topic in these partitions so for example it's keep posting here and we know like every time like the uh, the driver positions change their latitude and longitude change and we want to track it down so as a consumer we will like they are publishing this information and as a consumer we are subscribing this so basically they are writing here and we are reading here and the same information can be read by an other uh, like a other application so for example like delivery partners or they can read it too or even like a restaurant partner so for or we can say like analytics team is reading too just to do an analytics on top of that to, to understand like how much time it take and if it is let's say uh, more than average do we have to provide any kind of refund or if it is less what um, like uh, do we how, how like uh, we have a, like a different messaging or like ask for a different feedback or something like that so as we know like uh, the food apps have like millions of orders per minute and millions of uh, like payments are processing millions of uh, deliveries are happening so in those scenarios like partitions plays an important role because like partitions provide like parallelisms and like other benefits of like fault tolerance and all those like in a nutshell we can say like overall partitioning in kafa contributes uh, to like a better resource utilization improved performance fault tolerance and effective data management and uh, in like parallelisms uh, like they make sure like each partition is consumed independently by like a different consumer or consumer group so that's enables like parallel processing we're going to look into the consumer group uh, and um, partitions now. now understand what exactly is a consumer group so well a consumer group can be uh, basically a group of consumers that team up to work together and read messages uh, from collection of topic this grouping of consumers help achieve a, like a faster reading pace when several consumers are reading from the same topic and kafka like assign the partitions of a topic to a consumers in a group so that each partition is assigned to one consumer in the group which ensures that records are processed in parallel and no consumer come in um, uh, like uh, gets in the way of another consumer so let's try to understand this with this like what it means so for example let me clear this so in our case like the consumer one have only one consumer so in that case let's say we are reading location so it can read from both partitions like it will subscribe from both it can read from both and uh, it's a like a single consumer so there is no need for the like process like parallel processing and all but in the second group uh, like let's uh, assume we have only two um, consumers in consumer uh, group two just assume for now so in that case 
let's uh, let me create this line so for example let's say this is a third consumer it doesn't exist let's assume this okay so we have only currently like let's say two consumers so in that case like one like um, kafka make sure like each partition is uh, read by one consumer of this group so for example like analytics for let's say if it's reading the partition one then partition zero will be read by the restaurant uh, partner app so in that way like the both partitions are paralleled in process and neither of these consumers are uh, uh, coming or stepping stones on or like a like a uh, steps into other consumers stores okay but let me make this like let me delete this but in this case like we have three consumers in this consumer group and we have only two partitions so for example if delivery is reading from partition zero for example and restaurant is reading from past partition one in that time uh, the analytics team uh, consumer will set idle so that's is very important whenever like we are doing the partitioning we need to keep in mind like about our consumer okay so uh so that's all for this video and here we learn like what is apache kafka and where it is used and how its cluster works and and the different components of the uh, cluster so that's all for this video uh, stay tuned for our upcoming video have a good one.